वेलकम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द एनालिसिस फॉर पेपर टू सेक्शन ए दिस टाइम एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वर वेरी वेरी ऑब्वियस बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू स्कोर हियर इज यू हैव टू ब्रिंग इन मच मोर रिसेंट डेटा अलॉन्ग विद द क्वेश्चन दैट इज बींग आज Now the first ten questions, which are based on map location, would be covered in our map location class. So all these ten locations we will be covering in our map location class. The next question talks about the causes of groundwater depletion in India. Now groundwater depletion, one of the major causes is a lot of subsidies on uh, electricity and higher minimum support price for water intensive crops. As a result, you have a lot of utilization of water in the agricultural regions. Beyond that, contamination of water is one of the main major issues you have pollution uh, damage to the underground uh, regions because of which groundwater depletion increases with increasing tube wells bore wells the issue has further deepened in the urban areas and then you have to mark down the areas of dark zone and the gray zones what we say so uh, the gray zones areas are the areas where you have acute crisis of underground water and if there is no ample rainfall the recharge becomes difficult so commonly seen because of the pumping agricultural use uh, and natural depletion is also there if there is a lot of erratic monsoon that is seen no proper uh, penetration system specifically in the urban areas where you have concretization of the top layer that is seen now the erratic nature of the monsoon we have covered in a separate uh, lecture the key aspect that you need to bring about here is the impact of the global climate change and with the global climate change what happens is you have lesser rainfall and short bursts that actually causes a lot of flooding and increased risk to the agricultural crops you are also trying to see how the things have damaged over the years and with the changing climate pattern you have a lot of erratic nature of the monsoon or what we call as vagaries of the monsoon that have gained uh, or highlighted over the years uh, besides climate change also one of the reasons is the atmospheric pollution the natural variability that is seen and the combination of all of those the next is dry farming now there are three terms first of all uh, remember those you have dry farming dryland farming and rain fed farming the difference is when you have a rainfall of less than 750 mm in india we say it's a dry farming 750 mm above is dryland farming and then you have 1150 mm above you have the rain fed areas now a lot of uh, vegetations that are growing mainly in the drought prone areas are being brought about uh, dry farming these are the areas where you have no irrigation facilities that are available and quick uh, ripening crops that are usually seen agro climatic and agro ecological reasons we have already covered you simply need to correlate the overlapping regions so ju just have the map of the two and try to overlap it and we have the details in the videos here the next is the role of multinational corporations in economic development of the country now when we say economic development of the country definitely mnc is what they would bring since they are multinational they would have more foreign investments that would be seen you have more capital inflows that would be seen much of technology transfer with this technology transfer you can have later indigenous technologies that could be built in the country there are more chances for promotion of export goods that could be seen better investment opportunities that could be seen mainly in the infrastructural development so those are some of the key highlights that we need to focus on the role of multinational then you can bring in certain case studies and elaborate on those case studies in this question the next is watershed management and how it helps in eradication of rural poverty another Uh, program like manrega what we have minimum 100 days of guaranteed employment and through which you have lot of watershed management projects that have been built up arvari river uh, by the tarun bharat sang the tbs has been one of the unique efforts here so what we are trying to do we are trying to have joint forest management systems we are trying to conserve the small rivulets that are flowing through through the scientific methods through the remote sensing techniques we are trying to have a much more detailed map much more more detailed satellite imageries where we are trying to ensure that there is minimum runoff that is there 
and with that we are trying to conserve so that is one of the foremost things that we try to discuss here the next question talks about the use of chemical fertilizers pesticides insecticides in agriculture and the human impact now this has been covered in down to earth november and december itself so the idea is higher use of antibiotics in agricultural crops streptomycin tetracycline are some of those that we have covered in the recent down to earth then you have use of chemical fertilizers so we are moving to organic uh, fertilizers paramparagrit krishi uh, the uh, farming scheme where we are focusing on organic uh, fertilizers rather than the chemical fertilizers even the pesticides and the insecticides that are being used are much beyond the permissible limits where we have seen higher incidences of cancer cases in the regions of odisha that we have discussed in the last november edition also so those are some of the important things that you need to highlight here bringing in case studies and as we can see over the changing patterns you have lots and lots of questions coming from down to earth so cover the editions of down to earth we are covering it every fortnightly so if you are subscribed you would get a quick glimpse of the key topics that could be included in your answer writing the next is with the ongoing space programs in india uh, what are the implications of national security now this is specifically targeting on to mission shakti that is the asset we have already covered it in the video lecture on the same moment where it was announced and then you have chandrayaan gaganyaan uh, which could be uh, brought into account but the key focus here however is and will remain as mission shakti the asset the next is trying to correlate the vegetation and the rainfall now this is something that is automatically correlated so let's say we are talking about the desert areas in rajasthan the thar desert you would have cactus as one of the crops however on the other hand if we are trying to uh, talk about the northeast india the hills of meghalaya you would have evergreen forest as uh, one of the vegetation so they are automatically correlated at a very high extent what you have to do in your answer is to bring about the uh, lines for the rainfall pattern. pattern and uh, try to understand the vegetation with the overlapping of those rainfall patterns that is seen so that is what is required here the next is political aspects of himalaya now this has recently become important because with the uh, north india we are talking about specifically the regions of kashmir so the regions where we are talking about park occupied kashmir and the regions beyond the loc where you are talking about the region being occupied by china so those are the two major aspects of the himalayan uh, conflict then along the regions of tibet and the frontiers of sikkim and arunachal pradesh are again the regions where you have disturbances with china that is seen now these disturbances are on various issues these could be related to rivers that are flowing in these could be related to the passes that are there uh, the territory ter the territorial uh, invasion that is there so those are all the kind of uh, issues that we need to focus and definitely this has affected the regional consciousness of the indian federalism a lot the next is the development of it has definitely influenced the work culture with it you have a kind of new age of management ideology that is coming in you have lack of bureaucracy much more open flexible work environment employees are getting empowered you have women role that has been increased uh, new forms of direct control over the work process has emerged and the bureaucracy of all sorts has been slowly and gradually removed off and with this we say that there are a kind of lot of combinations that are seen but in this process there is also a development of low nigal cities which we have covered in the separate video uh, which basically focuses on the concept where you are trying to work from home so the cities are getting uh, kind of barren you have no movement that is seen and it's a kind of uh, totally abandoned city that could be seen so that is one of the key aspects that is that you have to focus here along with the development of work culture so a very very important question from the sections of uh, urban geography talking about the internal tensions and the goal orientation the next is the present age or status of age structure and availability of workforce in india now this is again a very very indeed important question india is considered as the youth capital of the world so we have the highest proportion of youth or the working age but again at the same time we have a significant drop in the contribution in the jobs for the youth so that has significantly affected the economy on the same front the population which is engaged in agriculture from the youth has been tremendously declining so what happens is the labor force participation rate 
in India is sharply changing and over the years we have seen a significant decline in the labor force participation rate in India. So that is where you need to bring about the situation uh, because of which we need much more labor intensive jobs but still the labor is not ready to work for it. So those are the kind of things that you would have to bring about in your answer here. We will be covering the section B of this uh, uh, paper 2 in a separate lecture so stay tuned for further updates and definitely we will be continuing with our map location series where we will be discussing the pending maps that are there and the important contemporary maps that are there and most of the map locations that were asked this time were part of the contemporary map location classes that we have already covered so keep an eye on those have a wonderful day ahead